Hi there, welcome to MTurk Guide. Today we're going to go over scripts and how you can use scripts to make more money. So, what are they? Scripts are add on functions that will assist you with catching, accepting, organizing, and executing hits. Uh, they're not a part of the core functionality of MTurk. So, what's interesting about that is that people who don't know that scripts exist and are using MTurk are at a big disadvantage. You learning this and implementing it puts you at an advantage. Um, it'll allow you to work more efficiently and effectively. Um, and realistically, it'll allow you to be a bit more hands-off about the accepting of hits and really allow you to focus on the execution and submission of hits. That's where the money is. You know, I see the queue like a pocket you know your pocket holds 25 hits um if you don't manage your pocket then your money can fall right out of your pocket so you know in that way a queue um expiring um is like money falling through your pocket and onto the ground and out of your grasp so um you want to be focusing on executing with quality and submitting your hits within the timer allotted, essentially. The less you can worry about accepting hits, the better off you'll be. And as time goes on, you'll get a good list of uh, requesters and hits that hit that uh, post on a regular basis. And some days your queue will just fill up on its own. And other days you'll have to go searching for stuff. It's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of, of working um, from home and uh, on a platform like this. So Aside from that piece of it, it can also help you uh, with goal progress. So if you're a goal-oriented person, uh, it can help you um, monitor your daily, weekly, monthly goals. Um, it can help predict your approval rating. So what I mean by that is given your number of hits approved, number of hits rejected, it can extrapolate the, uh, some a, a kind of equation. So if you are were to do uh, 500 hits and every single hit were to be rejected, uh, you know you would have a 99.5 uh, approval rating. And so that can help you determine whether taking a calculated risk is a good idea or not. Because keeping up your approval rating is a very important part of working on MTurk because it allows you to accept more hits. So it can do uh, scripts can help you with that and it can change the view of a hit so when i say change the view of a hit for example if you have trouble seeing the radio buttons which are the little circles within circles that appear on a lot of surveys uh, if you have trouble seeing those there are scripts that will allow you to enlarge those on the screen and make them bigger uh, without making the rest of the text necessarily bigger so um, things like that can just help the aesthetic of your screen and then there are hit specific scripts, which can help you increase the number of hits that can be accomplished in a batch scenario. If you've looked at my webcast on Zoltar, uh, Project Endor, it's a perfect example of a script that helps you be more efficient. So what that script does is it takes all of the options that you could click on by scrolling up and down and it puts it front and center right in front of you, clickable, and it will it will move with you as you scroll. Um, on a good day when Endor drops, you can do, you know, a hundred of them. And if you're scrolling up and down, up and down, I don't care how good your mouse is or how good ergonomically your setup is, after a while, your hand starts to bother you. And not only that, but you are wasting time scrolling when you could just be click, 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 you know, five, five or six clicks, whatever it is, typing five or six clicks and you're done as opposed to type, scroll, click, scroll, click, scroll, you know, submit. So, you know, if you don't believe me, you can try doing some of those hits that have a script without the script and then do it with, and you will see a difference. And again, you know, it's all about efficient use of time and making the most possible money you can um, with the time that you're able to dedicate to this. And as I've said numerous times, I'm not here to make you a millionaire. I'm here to help you reach some goals, um, you know, to help bring extra money into your household for whatever reason for pleasure or for necessity. Um, and then, you know, I can also help you find other ways to invest some of that um, in some other ventures that will, uh, can help you uh, increase that and also help you with ways to be smarter about spending that money. So 
you know, I generally never asking you to buy anything. I'm just giving this information. Um, but I ask in return that you stick with me and you communicate with me about how it's going. Okay. A little off track there, but okay. So let's get into the meat of this. How do you actually install the scripts? First, you have to install Tamper Monkey. Tamper Monkey is a tool that helps you organize and install scripts, keep them updated. Um, if you go to the tampermonkey.net link that I have here, and all these links will be in the description of this video for you to click, click, click away. Um, if you go there, there will be an extension for various types of browsers for Chrome, Firefox, 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 Opera, uh, Safari, etc. I suggest using Chrome. Most requesters are going to ask you to either use Chrome or Firefox. Occasionally they'll call out Safari and, and Edge, but most of the time I see Chrome and Firefox. So I highly suggest that you get comfortable with one of those two browsers. If you really, really are new to this, I highly suggest Chrome. You're going to see a lot of people like myself doing webcasts in Chrome, and that will help you be able to compare what you're seeing on your screen with what's on my screen. So that's my suggestion. Um, I think there's very few hits out there that require Firefox specifically, although there are a few, um, but I would say get started in Chrome and uh, that will allow you to do probably 95% of the hits that are out there. Um, so you're going to go ahead and go to that website and install uh, the extension for your browser. If you are in love with Firefox or for some reason limited to using Firefox or you simply don't want to use another browser, Tamper Monkey does have an extension for Firefox, but Grease Monkey also has an extension for Firefox. Um, some people like Grease Monkey better. Some people like Tamper Monkey better. I, you know, I only use Tamper Monkey because I prefer Chrome. So this is something that over time you may want to explore, but I'm just putting it out there for those that are following along that might be preferred, might, their preferred browser is Firefox. That's okay. Try out Grease Monkey. As I said, the tool will allow you to install and organize your scripts. If you try to install scripts without Tamper or Grease Monkey, you will encounter error messages. You will not be able to use the scripts and you will be frustrated. So please follow along, do this first. After you do install the proper monkey from above, you will navigate to this link, which is your greasyfork.org link. And again, all the links here will be blue. So finding scripts. So Greasy Fork is the repository for scripts. And disclaimer here, there are scripts for everything imaginable under the sun in Greasy Fork. It's a repository. It's not mTurk specific. Um, so don't let yourself get too sucked into other things you may see that are interesting. There's tons of interesting stuff there, but f get yourself started with mTurk first before you dive into grease, Greasy Fork, because I'm afraid I'd never see you again if you you go in too far into greasy fork without uh, coming up for air so when you get to greasy fork for this example i'm going to have you install turk master i'm going to show you me installing turk master turk master is a tool that you can use to help you auto accept uh, hits and to monitor your favorite requesters. It's one tool. There's numerous tools that do this. So I'm just using this as an example because it's very easy to visually verify that you actually did install it. And I'm going to show you how you do that. So again, you're going to put Turk Master into your search box and you're going to hit search and you're going to get a page of results like you do with any search engine type functionality. And uh, you're going to review the items that are returned. And here's one small picture of what's returned. Um, I will say one thing. Let me go back. I apologize. If you want to see everything for mTurk, simply instead of Turk Master, just put mTurk into the uh, into the search box or Mechanical Turk, one or the other, and you'll get uh, scripts that you can poke at and look through if you want to go hunting on your own. Okay. So you're going to get a return of numerous scripts, and you're going to be wondering, how do I know what to install? Well, I, I can't be here for every time you, you search, but what I can um, give you is the way that I look at scripts to determine what are of high quality. And really, first and foremost, I look for updated. I want to make sure that it's been recently updated. And when I say recent, I'm talking the last six to eight months. I mean, sometimes scripts just work really well and they don't need to be updated constantly or they're old enough. Like in this case, it's been, it's a couple of years old that they've, they're stable and that's okay. Um, but I just want some assurance that the writer is updating and monitoring the script so that if something does change with mTurk, which does happen, that they're gonna update the tool, the script, and it's gonna work, it's gonna function. The other thing I look at is the ratings, just like anything you look at when you're purchasing, you're gonna, you know, red, yellow, green, stars, whatever. 
I'm looking for just a high number of, of good ratings. Uh, and then I'm looking at installs, total installs, daily installs, just, you know, are they, it does this seem active? So given all that information together, the top item looks like what I'm looking for. Um, so what you would do is click on the name of the script that you want to install. So I've just, I've sliced out the one that I'm gonna install um, and I put a box around where you would click. It's a clickable link and it's gonna bring you to a new install page. When you come to this install page, one thing I want you to make sure of is whenever you're going to install a new script, scroll down because the authors often of the scripts they often give great information about their script how to use it you know special features and functions uh, specific directions or even a call for feedback to help make it better they could put anything down there so a lot of people don't scroll scroll they don't realize it's down there so make sure you scroll down take a peek what's down there okay so this is the script installation page when you click on the link from the previous screen I'm showing you a few things here. The author description down the bottom. Again, scroll down, see what's down there. Um, click here for installation. You see my my arrow there. Okay, this download from doc to PDF. This is an advertisement. Okay, it's going to bring you somewhere completely unrelated, and you will be utterly confused. Don't get duped by that download box. Okay, it's this one up talk that says install this script. Okay, that's where you want to click ignore the advertisement. I just, you know, if the advertisement interests you by all means, but for what we're trying to do here, don't get distracted by the, the bigger download button. It's a little misleading. I'll give you that. Okay, um, so now you've installed it in theory. Okay, so you're going to go to Tampa monkey and check that the new script appears and then you're going to turn it on using the slider. So this is my tamper monkey and see on the left hand icon where it says tamper monkey with the two dots looks like a, a side of a dice die or something. Um, that's the icon you're going to be looking for in your browser and your sorry in your um, bookmark your book, the top of your screen, sorry. <laughs> so um, you're going to be looking for there and you're going to go into your dashboard from there and you're going to want to see that Turkmaster is installed. The name is the same and you're going to slide. You're going to click off and it's gonna move and it'll appear on, as you see below. Okay, and so in order to go back and forth, you're gonna to wanna to, to check your scripts. You're gonna find the icon on your toolbar. That's the word I was looking for, toolbar. Um, you're gonna click on the icon and then click to dashboard in the pop-up box that appears and it'll bring you to the dashboard like you saw on the previous screen. And further webcast, I'm gonna deal with managing that interface and troubleshooting your scripting issues. Um, but for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna keep moving. So now go back to your dashboard before you turn it on. And this is, or don't, but this is what you'll see, right? This is the dashboard that you see every time you log in, right? And I can help you change the look of this dashboard. I can put your goals on here and all that. But again, we're not going to do that right now. But this is before install, okay? Now, after install, on the left-hand side, you're going to have something called Turkmaster, which coincidentally is what we installed. I'm not going to go too far into what all this is. I'm going to do that in another webcast for those that um, already have installed it. I don't want to make them go through all these steps about scripts and installing. Um, and it's, either way, this was just an example. But you'll see on the left-hand side here all this stuff. And when you first put it on, you're not going to have all this personalized stuff like I do because this is my personal stuff that I like to monitor but you will have some and we'll discuss what those all are but it changes literally the look of your dashboard um, and that's how you can verify that it's up and running so now you know it's up and running what next we're going to have follow-up webcasting to discuss various scripts that are good to install and what they're for i'm going to give you some that i consider to be required and some that are optional and you have to make the decision yourself what's helpful to you. I can't tell you that. I can guide you a little bit and help you with some links, but you got to install them, turn them on, turn them off, refresh, see what, what, what's what and what's going to work for you and make you work optimally. Um, again, if you want to jump ahead, simply go back to Greasy Fork and search for MTurk and you can start reading. If you're a reader like I am, go in and just poke around. You don't, if you install something, you can delete it. I will show you in future webcasts how to do that. Um, so don't panic. If you install something and it totally like makes your dashboard or your screen go berserk, just go back into the dashboard and, and, and disable it. Say off. Okay. You're not stuck with it by any means. Look, read the descriptions, look at the data points as previously indicated, okay? If you're 
because it's information overload. And if you're just trying to filter through those the things I need you to look at. Um, please note that scripts can interfere with one another and affect performance of your PC. So don't load up a bunch at once. Um, you want to, I'm a root cause troubleshooting kind of gal. And so when I add a new script, I like to add them one at a time. I like to just poke around and make sure that I'm not seeing any adverse effects. Um, so I'll discuss that more. But if you're computer is kind of going berserk and you've recently put on a script, just shut off that script and see if that's what's causing it. I mean, scripts, like everything else in the computing world, aren't perfect. So it's not the perfect solution, but it's like a 98% solution to a lot of the issues on MTurk. So um, you kind of have to deal with a little bit of quirkiness to get that advantage. Um, and frankly, if you haven't used scripts before and this is all new to you, you'll be amazed at how much it improves this type of work over time. At first, you might say, eh, I'm like not overly impressed. There'll be an aha moment um, as you go down the line. Stick with it. I'd say stick with it for at least a month um, using the scripts. And if you really don't like it, um, you know, absolutely disable Tamper Monkey and don't use it. But, you know, I started out and I was making, you know, I don't know. 20 or 30 bucks a week just poking at it really I wasn't dedicating any time to it now you know maybe putting in 10 or 15 hours a week just just kind of again I just I have a little schedule that I adhere to I do treat it like a job but I don't let it suck me in too far um you know I make anywhere between usually 200 and 300 a week um and that all goes right into my vacation fund for our, my family trips so again the the scripts helped me i'm not going to speak for everybody but i do think it it can help you um, again if you need that specific one-on-one -on -one help please let me know what you're trying to do and what you're seeing and i will certainly help you um, but as usual please please um let me know what you're doing. Let me know what's working. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, and uh, let me know how I can help you. And we will absolutely um, be putting more webcasts up ASAP to help you work your way through MTurk. All right. I think that is all I have for this webcast. I appreciate you sticking with me. And uh, hopefully we'll be putting up more webcasts by uh, the end of today. Thanks.